and welcome to our next installment of First Page Fridays. My name is Miss Maddie, and I work here at the East Shore Area Library. This week, our book is Dangerous Alliance, an ostentatious romance by Jenny Cohen. This book is, as you may have been able to tell from the title, based on the time period of Jane Austen. And the main character in this, Vicky, Victoria or Vicky, actually reads a lot of Jane Austen novels. So I'm going to do things a little differently this week. The first page doesn't give too much away, so I'll read the back cover as well. For the first time in days, Vicky felt sure all would turn out well. Perhaps her life had become a sensational novel for a few weeks, but surely it would end like Pride and Prejudice and leave her happy and in a position to help her dear family. She faced Aletha. I'm charged with finding a husband, and I will not shirk my duty. So that's the back cover. The first page. Chapter the first. The danger, however, was at present so unperceived that they did not by any means risk rank as misfortunes to her. Jane Austen, Emma. April 1817, Oak Bridge Estate, Hampshire, England. The lichen kissed stone dropped onto the rock pile with a hollow clack. Lady Victoria Aston rested her aching hands on the rough stone. She wiped her muddy palms down the front of her thighs, smearing muck onto her father's old tan breeches. When attempting to save the lives of a particularly bothersome flock of sheep, one had to make sacrifices. With two more sizable stones, she would close the gap in the wall. Then she could scour Oak Bridge's 6,562 acres for the estate shepherd. Vicky narrowed her eyes to the shaggy old ewe, one of many she had found out of bounds in the neighboring pasture. They jumped over the crumbling gap and gobbled a patch of indigestible clover. Soon their bellies would bloat, and without the shepherd's aid, they would surely perish. So that's an interesting start. It doesn't really sound like a Jane Austen romance to me, but you'll go ahead and read this and find out for yourself. We'll see you next time.